Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be running some speed tests, as well as running some benchmarks on the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPad Air 2, the iPhone 5S, and the Retina iPad Mini. We're going to be running a total of four tests. Two of the tests are going to be over Wi-Fi, and the other two are going to be over 4G LTE. And the reason that we're running two tests is that you're able to see the performance out on the go using 4G LTE, as well as at home or your office using Wi-Fi. For today's video, we're going to be using two applications courtesy of the Apple App Store, that is speedtest.net and Geekbench 3. So without further delay, let's go ahead and begin our tests. So all four devices have finished up the first test. And starting off on the immediate left with the iPhone 5S, we have a ping score of 22, download speed of 10.17 and an upload speed of 0.77 megabytes per second. Now when it comes to the iPhone 6 Plus we get a ping score of 39, a download speed of 9.64 and an upload speed of 0.87 megabytes per second. On the Retina iPad Mini we get a ping score of 34, a download speed of 5.57 and an upload speed of 0.83 megabytes per second. And lastly on the iPad Air 2 we get a ping score of 40, a download speed of 9.23 and an upload speed of 0.91 megabytes per second. Next up we have Geekbench 3 over Wi-Fi. So it looks like all four devices have finished up test number two which is Geekbench 3 over Wi-Fi. Starting off on the immediate left on the iPhone 5S we get a single core score of 1407 a multi-core score of 2,545. On the iPhone 6 Plus, we get a single core score of 1,595, a multi-core score of 2,861. The Retina iPad Mini, we get a single core score of 1,372, and a multi-core score of 2,482. On the iPad Air 2, we get a single core score of 1,812, and a multi-core score of 4,530. Next is test number three, a speed test over 4G LTE. Now the purpose of this test is to run all four devices on separate networks. Now the iPhone 5S is currently not connected to a cellular data network, so it is running on Wi-Fi, which makes all four devices running on separate networks. With that being said, and all four devices on separate networks, we can run our speed test over 4G LTE, as well as the Geekbench 3 test over 4G LTE simultaneously, without any worries of each device stealing each other's bandwidth. So when it comes to the results of test number 3, which is a speed test over 4G LTE, starting off on the immediate left on the iPhone 5S, we have a ping score of 31, a download speed of 11.21, and an upload speed of 0.92 megabytes per second. On the iPhone 6 Plus, we have a ping score of 42, a download speed of 15, and an upload speed of 6.12 megabytes per second. On the Retina iPad Mini, we get a ping score of 50, a download speed of 9.71, and an upload speed of 1.77 megabytes per second. On the iPad Air 2, we get a ping score of 50, a download speed of 15.95, and an upload speed of 5.90 megabytes per second. And lastly is test number 4, which is Geekbench 3 over 4G LTE. Now once again, we can run this test simultaneously without the worry of robbing each other's bandwidth. So when it comes to the results, starting off on the immediate left with the iPhone 5S, we have a single core score of 1,408, multi-core score of 2,547. In the iPhone 6 Plus, we get a single core score of 1,591, a multi-core score of 2,833. On the Retina iPad Mini, we get a single core score of 1,370, a multi-core score of 2,474. On the iPad Air 2, we get a single core score of 1,803, and a multi-core score of 4,509. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap this one up for me. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you will be notified in your inbox every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out the video description as I will have some videos linked for you on coverage of the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPad Air 2. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to drop a like down below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.